where do better solutions come from? The answer is inspired thinking. That's definitely the case when it comes to liquid level measurement in seal pots. So don't think differential pressure or hydrostatic. Think Magnetrol for much smarter options from cost-effective switches to full-featured transmitters. That's important because measuring and ensuring proper liquid levels in your seal pots protects expensive equipment and your brand. And using ultrasonic level switches or guided wave radar from Magnetrol is smarter for everyone. For end users, that means accurate performance, advanced diagnostics, and no calibration is necessary for density variation. For seal pot manufacturers, that means a variety of price and performance options with worldwide safety approvals and simple, easy to stock configurations. At Magnetrol, we also share your commitment to the highest levels of safety, reliability, and productivity. That's why we offer smarter level instrumentation that lets you adhere to API 682. The third edition of the API Standard 682 came out in September 2004. And if you adhere to Revision 3, you'll definitely like this thinking. Your most economical choice is the Ecotel Model 910 Ultrasonic Relay Switch. It detects the presence or absence of liquid in a single point transducer. And it's available with a universal nameplate. For the ultimate solution to reliable single point liquid level indication, choose the Ecotel Model 961 Relay Switch. It's SIL 2 suitable, delivers enhanced diagnostic information, and offers LED indication with an optional window. If you need high and low level indications from a single instrument, the Ecotel Model 962 Relay Switch is the right idea. It has two independent switches, and it's top mounted to eliminate taps and reduce costs. Now let's consider API Standard 682 Revision 4, which came out in May 2014. It made the first mention of indicating transmitters, specifically hydrostatic but it also opened the standard to other technologies. This includes the substitution of switches in place of transmitters. However, if transmitters are selected, the recommendation is that they should be analog, two-wire type, and have four to 20 milliamp output. Now let's see some smarter options for customers who adhere to Revision 4. If you need the most economical choice for Revision 4, consider the Ecotel 961 current shift model. This two-wire device provides milliamp outputs at different liquid levels, so it delivers continuously accurate and reliable level control. It also offers an optional window, so it's easy to monitor with LED indication. If you need a top-mounted option, Magnetrol has inspired thinking there as well. The Ecotel 962 current shift model provides milliamp outputs at different liquid levels, and this two-wire device eliminates taps and reduced costs. Here's another powerful idea from Magnetrol guided wave radar. It measures level directly. There's never an error associated with density or other changes in the liquid, and no calibration is ever required. The Horizon 704 provides all of the performance advantages of guided wave radar and the most cost-effective transmitter. It reduces taps and costs, has a single compartment housing, and offers a chamber mount option. For the ultimate performance and leading-edge thinking, you want the Eclipse 706 transmitter. It accurately measures from the bottom to the top of the probe without a dead zone or transition, even in the small ranges that are common for seal pots. And it provides a superior signal-to-noise ratio compared to other guided wave radar. As you can see, for liquid level measurement in seal pots, you do have smarter options. That's why it pays to think Magnetrol. <laughs>